A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use shading and highlight feature in Microsoft Word. And before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you are using different version of Microsoft Office, you may see a little difference in appearance. So let's get started. And here we are going to discuss four different topics. First is the what is the difference between shading and highlight feature in Word. Second thing is that how to shade text and paragraph in Word. Third point is the custom color shading. And fourth and final one is the pattern shading in Word. So let's come to the first point of discussion. That is the difference between shading and text highlight feature so here in the first paragraph I'm going to use the text highlight feature and which you can find in the home tab in the font group and which is located here and shading feature is in the home tab itself paragraph group and located here so first paragraph I'm going to do the text highlight you can do it easily with the same feature here text highlight or you can go do the same thing by selecting here so text highlight means it is highlighting only the text but the shading feature can highlight text it can highlight paragraph as well so here I'm going to show you shading whole paragraph so you can select the whole paragraph and you will see the option here shading you can select from here or you can do the same thing from here itself so I'm going to select it and select same color here you will see a difference here that it is only highlighted the text but here you can see the whole paragraph is highlighted another difference is the limitation text highlight only can use 15 different colors but in the text setting you can use add of colors there are multiple range of colors you can use now we will move to the second point of discussion that how to be shade text and paragraph in word so here is that what we have done is that we have shaded the whole paragraph if you want to remove it just go back there and use no colors imagine if you want to shade the whole text so just select the text which I've selected here go back to the same option and select whatever color you want and you can see it is changed to different color if you want to change it once again just select all those text and change this thing change, change it like this if you want to remove it what you can do you can go there and choose no colors Similarly, if you want to shade the whole paragraph, shade this, select the whole paragraph and let's try it this way. Select it from here and choose a color. You can see the whole paragraph is shaded. If you want to choose a different color, you can see the preview with quite ease. So we can change it. Now if we want to remove it, just select no colors. Now we will move to the third point of discussion that is custom uh, color shading. Having said that there are multiple options in shading, still you want something which is not listed here and you want a very precise color. So you can input those colors in form of either RGB or HSL or hexa code. So for that you have to choose more colors and first option you will see a standard color here you can choose out of it like let's say I'm choosing a color like this and you can see the new color is like this and when you click OK it will change like this but still you want something which is not listed here what you can do you can go back there more colors and go to the custom and you can enter the RGB color code you can enter the hexa code both are editable here so I'm going to enter the RGB color code here, like uh, 51, 153 and 255. 
and you can see the color hexa code is already changed here but if you have a hexa code you can just input the hexa code it will change the rgb code uh, similarly if you don't have both you can also use the hsl color code and you can see the equivalent hsl code is here and again this is g table you can enter it and just press ok and here i'm going to press ok and you will see the color is changed now we'll move to the last point of discussion that is the pattern shading and before we start the pattern shading i will remove this option no colors and here i'm going to select a text first to show you how we can do the pattern shading of a text so we have to use little advanced features so we will go to the this option borders and select borders and shading and we'll go to the shading and we will choose our style called anything we can choose we can choose many options here Let's, i'm going to choose something like uh, dk horizontal and i'm going to put a color like this and this applies to a text because we have selected a text so by default this is text and when you put it ok you will see the text is shaded pattern shaded if you want to remove it what you can do just select those text go back there and just put it clear or if you want to change a different color which you can again choose it let's say like this you can do it if you don't want it just go back and clear it off now we will discuss how to do the pattern shading of a whole paragraph so here i'm going to select the whole paragraph and we'll go to the same option here and borders and shading and shading tab we will select whatever the preferred pattern we want let's say we put 12.5 and we put a color like this something deeper so that we can see apply to tag paragraph and just click ok and you will see this is pattern in the selected way here we can also use a combination which is shading and we can use a different fill color like uh, something like green and you will see an preview here and apply to paragraph and you can see the fill color with the pattern so with this i will conclude the video here and hope it has given you a idea about how to use shading and highlight feature in microsoft Word. how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the coming videos with this i will say goodbye and see you soon